Hey guys, Stavros here from RPM Auto Reviews. I'm just at a friend's house. We're gonna take off the intake manifold because I'm gonna do a carbon cleaning uh, video for you guys and uh, before and after picture. So we're actually going through the trouble of taking off the uh, manifold so we can get good pictures and stuff. And then we're gonna do the carbon cleaning with the system that I bought, which is a system from a company called Smart Blend. And uh, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna take it off again so we can do uh, after pictures and hopefully there will be something worth seeing there for the better, I hope. Uh, my car's around 44,000 kilometers, so I haven't done any of the carbon cleaning yet. I think I should have done it earlier, but I think since I'm using full synthetic oil and I'm using uh, 91 octane, that's probably not so bad, but we'll find out. Only AMS oil, only the best. So uh, Tyler's just uh, applying a little lube around the gaskets. Okay, and need a second hand over there? Okay. So we're gonna get this back on so we can tighten it down and get the carbon cleaning spray started. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the uh, carbon cleaning. So this is a, uh, I'll show you guys. So this is uh, from a company called Smart Blend. So this is a two-step where this goes into your fuel tank and this is for putting through a vacuum hose through the engine and the um, through the intake. And it's for, this is just an Amsoil thing, it's nothing to do with the video. <laughs> and and this part is for the engine and the whole you know intake cleaning system. So right now, we're gonna start with this. We, it comes with this little hose thingy that this part will connect, we'll show you where. And this part clips onto the can. And I believe you just push it on. There we go. And it has a, a button here you, you push to get the spray out, so. Okay, so we're gonna connect. This is, has to go to a positive vacuum hose. So we're gonna use the one that was coming out of the catch can and put it in here, nice and snug. You push it all the way in. And then we're gonna get it started and it'll go into the uh, upper throttle body and into cleaning everything. Now this comes with this little clip where you hang it here, for example. So once you start it, once you start the process, you just leave it there and let it hang on its own. So you just want, so you put, you, this comes with a little hanging clip here. So then once you get it going, it just stays there. But because it's kind of pulling on here a little tight and I'm worried about this thing sliding out, I think I'm just gonna leave this over here. Should be okay, we just kind of leave it in there, right? So I'm just gonna leave it in here so that way it's not pulling pressure. It's not putting pressure to pull this out of the uh, hose that we connected it to. Okay, so instead of hanging it, because it's barely reaches, I don't want I don't want any pressure pulling on this, so I'm just gonna do it here. Now we're gonna start the engine now, let it run a little bit to warm up. Okay, so the instructions show doing it idling, but um, we suspect as Tyler does that just having a slight rev on it is a good thing. So the instructions on this suggest to Press it slowly to start. So, now I'm only just pressing it slowly to let the engine get used to it. You can see it's coming out there. So you're supposed to go a little bit stronger. And a little bit more. Okay, so I had a hard time it getting it to clip down because I didn't, I couldn't feel or hear a click. You just have to really press slowly and hard until it does catch. So now I can, it's, hard, it's staying down by itself, and it's doing the, it's going to continue going by itself. So Tyler's going to keep a slight grab going until the can runs out. So it sounds like it's gonna turn off. It's keeping a bit of a rev going. You can see there's still more going in there, so it'll take a few minutes to run out. So you gotta let that go. It does seem like 
it making a sputtering sound like it's gonna stall is normal and he said that uh, the instructions say that if it does turn off just to stop the spray then restart the engine and then just continue the process again it's normal but we kind of like to keep a slight rev going so it doesn't turn off I would keep the pedal steady and it would be fine and it would stay there for a couple seconds and then it would take up to like 2000 so then I get completely out of it and try to get back into it slowly and get it again and it would either want to stall or take right off on me it was really weird so it didn't take very long for the can to finish it looks like it is finished and we're just letting it run a little bit and then we're going to disconnect it okay so the instructions say to run it for a minute and then turn it off and the process is done we let it run for a few more minutes because we figured while it's idling you know he mentioned they mentioned in the instruction the heat helps so we just let it run a little, a little longer right hopefully it'll clean a little better just by letting it run a little longer other uh, intake carbon cleaning stuff like CRC or Seafoam, theirs works a little different and they suggest to go for a 10 minute highway drive later. So even though this one works in a different way and it doesn't require it, we're gonna go down just a country road and do a little uh, little drive just in case it ups, grab some lunch. Sounds smooth, eh? Sounds smooth? So we went out for lunch, let her run a little bit on the side roads there, and sounds all right. This is soft. It's it's very soft. Okay, so Tyler's trying to see if this is caked on hard or if it's coming off a little soft, and it's a little bit on the soft side, so we believe that that suggests that it's, um, it's working. Now, the spray seems to have cleaned one of the center valves better than the others, which I'll show you the picture here. So here's the before and after photos. Just gonna say, so again, from what we're seeing here, Tyler has a better memory than an old guy like me. Um, it looks like some of it, uh, this one specifically here, I'm showing you upside down, does look cleaner than the previous one. But the other ones look very similar. So, okay, guys, here's the, I believe this is the first one, the first picture, and now this is the after. after picture and here's the video so it's probably hard to tell at first I thought it didn't really do much but as we're looking closer the walls around there are definitely cleaner than before the uh, the little chunks of the base of the stem is still there I think it softened it up and just a little wee bit may have come off there but the base of the actual valves themselves like the, the flatter around area uh, and some of the valves, if you go around to the before pictures and after, you can kind of see through to see the, um, the metal coming through. So it did actually remove some. Not tons, because I am at uh, around 44,000 kilometers on my car, and I think they should have been on, done around 25,000 kilometers, or maybe even 20,000. But all the walls are cleaner, and the valves have a slight better, a slight betterment to them. But the little chunks on the, uh, again, the little chunks on the bottom of the stem seem to be uh, less effective, though they soften up a bit. This area here, that's like the, the spacer between them. That definitely is cleaner in all of them from the before. You can see better on this one. And over here. So 
So overall, it did work. Uh, not as much as probably that I like to have, because again, I waited a little longer than I should have. Okay, so conclusion, it actually worked, guys. I do think it's worth the money going to do this. Um, again, it didn't clean up as much as I was hoping to on my car because I waited a little longer to do it, but it did work. So if this was only like 15, 20,000 kilometers, it wouldn't be as much. And the longer you wait, it's not just that it builds up more, it probably stays kicked on stronger from time as well. So if that's logical explanation or theory to you, I think it makes sense that if you did do it, if I did it earlier and if you do it earlier and you just do it every 10, 15,000 miles maximum, it'll be it'll work much better and more efficiently. So thumbs up, it works. And uh, definitely uh, look into buying this product, going to your local shop and getting it done. Some description below on where to get that if you're local to me and some other uh, suggestions will be in the comment section below. I'm home now, an hour and a half drive to get home from Tyler's place. She's ran smooth all the way home. Uh, sounds nice and smooth now. So, so far so good. The, um, the didn't take cleaner did work again. So, not as much. So I'm already gonna do uh, another CRC spray in, uh, in about a month. And the fuel, the fuel system cleaner is still running in the tank. The tank's not empty yet, so I started with a full tank. So that stuff's doing its doing its uh, job. So my injector should be cleaner.